Hello once again, and welcome to another trading card openings by Jazzy Jeff. All right, so we're back in the thick of things. Episodes are flying off the shelf, or flying at you, or popping up on Facebook as you're trying to scroll through to something cool, and you're like, oh my god, how much shit does Jeff post? Well, here it is, another post by Jazzy Jeff. So this one is uh, one I've just waited a very long time for. I don't know why I waited so long to open these. Um, they don't, they're not necessarily uh, super meaningful. Um, however, they are just extremely old cards all the way from 1982. Um, and I'm not great with math, so that's why I got the uh, Radio Shack calculator here. To give me the official, let's see if I can, oh wow, look at that, the uh, calculator <laughs> needs a new battery, so, but I'm sure I could do this in my head, so 1982 and 2012, that would have been 30 years, so 31, 32, 33, 30, so it's been about 34 years. Uh, these are 34-year-old cards. These are some of the oldest cards um, that I have. And I even had a few people tell me, oh, well, you know, are you sure you want to, you know, open those up? And, uh, you know, they could be worth something. But honestly, at this point, um, I don't think trading cards are ever really going to be worth anything, especially when they're in the original packaging. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Didn't even introduce the cards. Whew, what is this, my first uh, card opening? Uh, this is the Dark Crystal Cards, full color trading cards, eight cards. Um, and on the back here, you can see they're from 1982. But they're, they're weirdly packaged. Like, they almost look like they've been opened. Um, so... That's another reason why I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and open them because uh, they don't even really look like they're closed anymore. But these are by, I mean, obviously Jim Henson was the one who did the movie, uh, but these are um, distributed by Don Russ uh, Company. Uh, Don Russ actually used to do a lot of trading cards uh, along with Fleer and Tops, of course. Uh, Don, Don Russ Don Russ was the other sort of company uh, but they were sort of on the lower end. They never really did a lot of cards. Um, but I do remember them doing a lot of, like, baseball cards. And um, I believe they did football cards. But anyhow, um, I mean, this is exciting. This is cool. This is, you know what I mean? This is over 30 years old. Um, so this is certainly, certainly really awesome um, that these exist. So let's go ahead and... Peel these suckers open, get this going here. And uh, these were from Dinosaur Dracula's Fun Pack. So, if you don't know about him, well, look him up. So there is the packaging. I always like to show off the packaging, of course. This feels very, very old. I mean, this is this is definitely old packaging. Um, everything about it just screams the '80s. The colors, the look of it. Um, some quick info about the movie. I mean, I was never a huge um, Dark Crystal um, fan. Um, I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was, like, well done. The animation's fantastic. Like, the puppetry, the special effects. Um, everything about the movie is very colorful, very detailed. But, I don't know. There's just certain movies I just can't get into. And it doesn't mean that they're bad. It's just not my cup of tea, I guess. Um, and, uh, you know, the same could be said about Legend, you know, where Tim Curry plays the devil. Fantastic makeup, fantastic um, special effects, fantastic, you know, colors and everything. But just one of those films. Another one that comes to mind, I believe, it was called Excalibur. Um, I believe that was the name of it. Um, another kind of just knights type of film. Um, and certain medieval things just don't always grab my attention. So that's kind of the the deal with um, that's kind of the deal with um, 
Excalibur, why I didn't really like that. But I, I, I don't know. It, it's just weird. But I'm willing to go back and give Dark Crystal a second chance or a third chance or four. I don't even know how many times I've tried to watch it now. But anyhow, that might be why I've just held off on opening these cards because I'm probably not going to have a whole lot to say about them. But being from 1982, I feel like I got to fucking open them because these are probably the oldest cards that I'm ever going to come across in my lifetime. I mean, who knows? Maybe I might come across older ones, but it's pretty tough to find cards from 1982 in their original packaging. So, anyhow, here we go. Card number one. The Valley of the Standing Stones. And the one thing I noticed right off the bat about these cards is they're really neat. Like, they're kind of, like, beveled almost. Whereas, like, most cards, most, most like, playing cards are, like, you know, they got those sharp edges that you can, like, get really hurt on. These are, like, the perfect cards for me. I, ooh, I can't hurt myself. Ooh. So, yeah, I kind of like that. Um, obviously, this is a scene uh, from the movie. Uh, the back of the card has uh, some explanation in regards to what is going on. Um, so, like I said, unfortunately, I'm not going to have a ton to say. Um, some of these cards are a little tough to see. I mean, I don't know if you're able to see them. But if it looks blurry, it's because the card the card itself is actually pretty blurry. Because if you look at the back of it, you could probably read the words really well. Um, so, unfortunately, not the best quality. Um, and I don't, you know, I, I only knew one person my entire life that was a huge fan of this movie. Um, a lot of people that I bring this movie up to, they either never saw it. Or I just never heard feedback from people about this movie. But I only knew one girl that I lived with uh, a couple years ago. And she was crazy. So how fitting that this would be her favorite movie. But um, I'm sure I'm going to get some shit from somebody online. <laughs> and they're going to be like, what? You don't like it? Or you never saw it all the way through? Or, But um, I mean, I... I I'm almost certain I saw it all the way through. It's just, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's underwhelming for me. Because I love Jim Henson, and I love the Muppets. And I love, like, you know, the Muppet babies and everything. But I'm, I'm even getting bored just going through these cards. Like, I, oh, God. I, I know someone out there is going to watch this, and they're going to be like, you are a dick. You're such a dick. The Dark Crystal's awesome. So, there you have it. You know, I, I showed you all the cards. You know, each one says something a little bit about the, the film. The Mystic Ritual Guardian. The Disgraced Chamberlain. Chamber, Chamberlain. The Master's Funeral. Alright, so I'm, I'm done with all that. So, there it is, ladies and gents. The Dark crystal and uh like i said you know i i hope that this was a, a fun card opening um because i didn't have a whole lot <laughs> to say but this was also sort of an exercise in futility i i always love love that phrase but this sort of was an exercise just to see how i would do um with trading cards that i don't know a lot about i mean i've done trading cards in the past um, that I didn't know a ton about and those videos turned out all right, but I'd say this one was like the toughest video um, To do uh, but I'm hoping that it wasn't like too boring um, But as always I do have some bonuses here um, So another cool thing from dinosaur Dracula. Um, he's always um, Giving these things called specimens Dinosaur Dracula specimen. So this is a genuine Mellow Smellow Nintendo sticker from 1990. So there it is. That is Mario. There he is with the mushroom. So these would be the um, stickers that smell. Um, part of me wants to open this, but I don't know. I just, I love the way that it's sealed in there. 
I just, I love the look of it, you know? And I've opened up some of his specimens, and, you know, I, I kind of don't want to open anymore. I, I, I mean, I just love the whole look of this. I mean, he designed this so well. Um, and he even has a little information on the back here. Mellow Smellow famously made scratch and sniff stickers, but they also worked with some of our most beloved childhood icons. Yes, including Super Mario. So, there it is. There's the uh, back of it. And there's the front of it. And then uh, I got one other cool thing here. Uh, this was actually given to me by my buddy Scott um, from Hanover. Uh, he actually works at Timeline Arcade. And uh, we decided to give each other these fun boxes called... Um, I just called his the Scott Box because his name is Scott. And uh, he, I think he just titled mine like the Jazzy Box or something. Something along those lines. So, um, there is the, uh, these are Mighty Morphin Power Ranger stickers from 1994 by Saban, of course. And, um, these are all of their Zorbs. So, as you can see, the, you know, it, it, it's showing you the Sabertooth Tiger, the Tri, um, why am I drawing a blank on this? Triceratops. Triceratops, Mastodon, um, of course the, um, I can't believe I'm drawing, <laughs> this always happens to me, I'm always drawing a blank, but, um, Tyrannosaurus, and then, I can never remember Kimberly's, it's the weird, like, flying dinosaur, but anyway, There you have it, the Megazord. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to actually use these, maybe. Um, but it's tough, you know. This is really cool looking. And it's from 1994, and it's untouched. So that's that's tough to come by. So those are all the goodies. Um, this stuff right here, I'll just save that for another video. So thank you so much for watching. And... Uh, I got nothing else for you, so I guess I'll just end uh, with the Beetleborg. So who remembers Beetleborgs? I do.